Finally, give in to common sense. The night is ready for you in the bag. Greetings, my friends, and welcome to my home, Amazonia. This land you see here is a paradise where everything is beautiful. And yet there came a day when our ancestors feared this land would be doomed forever. The night, well, suddenly disappeared. Everyone was terrified, except for the snakes. They seemed happy about the whole thing. And even stranger yet, they began to speak. Well, this is where the story of Kieko and the Lost Knight begins. And if you'd like me to be your guide, then click here. But if you'd rather go through it alone, then click here. Okay. Now I would like to introduce you to a few of the heroes in our story. This here is Mahimbo. Mahimbo is the Indian chief and a very brave warrior who represents the village on its delicate missions. Next meet Mahimbo's son, Kieko. He's a very bright boy. And then we have Takuna, the witch doctor. Takuna is the wisest of all. Yes, he knows the secrets of the old ones and talks to the animals. Finally, this is Kieko's mother and little sister. In theory, young girls don't stray far from their mothers, but after all, that's only in theory. As for the snakes, well, don't worry, you'll get to meet them soon enough. And oh, look, it's getting late, so let's go ahead and begin our story. Hey, not so fast! What about oh, me? Oh dear, excuse me, Pata Pata, how did I forget you? Mr. Pata Pata accompanies Kieko on all of his adventures, as you will soon see. Night hadn't fallen for a very long time. The sun sat comfortably high in the sky and shone, without pity, on the earth, the people and the animals. Oh, any more sun and the bananas will fry all by themselves. Keiko, put down that bow. This can't go on. It's much too hot. We must bring back the night. I sense magic in this disappearance. It can only be the work of a powerful sorcerer. While we wait for him to appear, I'll poison my arrows and prepare for the battle. With your strength and my knowledge, we'll surely succeed. A great spirit willing. Mother, I'm going out to hunt the taper. I saw its footprints behind the village. All right, but don't go into the forest alone. A child, nothing can frighten him now that the night is gone. The footprints led Kieko to the river. The tapir was no longer there. 
but two unusual visitors loudly announced themselves. The snakes seemed to be in very good shape, despite the heat. Something was fishy, and Kieko wanted to learn their secret. Let's go, it's getting late. Why? Are you scared of the night? <laughs> Forgetting his mother's instructions, Kieko followed the snakes into the forest. Make sure that nobody has followed us. Those awful Indians must never discover where we've hidden the knights. The Indians aren't all bad. What? Not all bad? Do you know how my grandfather ended up? On an arrow! Yes, sir! One big shish kebab! The knight was being held prisoner by the snakes. Kieko had to find their hiding place. Good. They don't suspect a thing. Kieko had fallen at the foot of the Snake King's tree palace. Everything happened so quickly that he had no time to feel frightened. Well, well, could this be the famous son of the chief? My name is Kieko, and I've come to take back the knight. Oh, very interesting. And what will you give me in exchange? My bow and arrow. Oh, no! Be careful! Without any arms, what good would bow and arrows be to me, little boy? Think of something better, or the knight will remain beneath our lake. Lake, lake, lake. Now, Scram, get out of here. How do I get back to the village? Follow the mangroves and turn left at the third vine. Echo couldn't wait to tell everyone that the snakes had captured the knight. The snakes stole the knight! The snakes stole the knight! The snakes stole the knight! But nobody answered Kieko. The village was deserted. The snakes stole the knight! Ah! <laughs> The snakes, you say? <laughs> Let's consult the spirits. <laughs> I hate that smoke! The spirits have spoken. We must offer the snakes a rattle. Go, see the snakes with Kieko. He knows the way. Kieko and his father hoped that the rattle would please the snakes. Well, are those my Indian friends I hear coming? Oh, 
think your majesty has been for some poison. I already thought of that. What a surprise! The chief in person! And what has he brought us? Is that a rattle? How would we ever use such a thing? It's simple, sir. Just attach it to your tail. What's that noise? That racket is for the birds! That guy's never satisfied! The Snake King, clever negotiator that he is, decided to give a few minutes of night to the Indians. Just enough to make them want more. Do you think I'm some simple old king warrior? Your rattle does not please me, but here is your night anyway. Thanks, Snake, but this bag is tiny. What will it take to get back the entire night? Such impatience. Perhaps a little poison would seal the bargain. You know, the one you use on your arrows. Oh, now I see. Well, let me think about it. In the village, everyone gathered to welcome the night that would bring back cool evenings and peaceful sleep. After all that excitement, a good night's sleep is what I need. Hey ho, oh, hey, hey ho. Eternal night, you are home at last. Look upon your people and calm the fire that burns our land. Oh, yo. begun when suddenly daylight returned. Is it over already? Whoa! I think we've been hacked! That is not enough night for us. We must give the snakes the poison. The Snake King awaited the Indians in the laboratory of his sorcerer, who had been experimenting in vain for a long time on his own poison recipe. Mm, still not quite right. Finally, give in to common sense. The night is ready for you in the bag. So, can you tell us now why you wanted the poison so badly? A subtle question. We simple snakes are defenseless. This poison will be our only means of protection. Easy, your majesty. That's a powerful elixir. Don't do more than just wet your fangs. The trade is finished. It's time to go. Well then, go, Indians. 
and do keep the bag closed until you get back to the village. We must see clearly while I distribute the poison. From tree to tree, news of Kyoko's adventure spread throughout the forest. All the animals, especially the jaguar, waited impatiently for the bag to be opened. Ah. Mm. We have got the night! The night is coming! Hey! Ow! Watch out! Don't move. He'll fall asleep. How are we going to find the village in this darkness? Don't worry. The wind and the stars will guide us. Meanwhile, the sudden darkness interrupted the sharing of the poison among the snakes. 24 drops, 25, 26, 27, oh no, 25, 26, no, 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 I can't see a thing! One, two, three, four... What? Is, is, is that all I get? I'm a snake, not an earthworm! For heaven's sake, take it easy! Your Majesty? Majesty? Where are my feathers? And uh, my... 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 Who stole my rattle? You fool! You simple-minded idiots! You want the poison and the rattle? Well, as of tomorrow, everyone who's had too much poison will have a rattle stuck on the end of his tail forever! <laughs> well, I've made up my mind. I don't like poison. I'm going to live with the Indians. Thanks to the return of the night, water flowed once more, and the Indians could finally bathe in the rivers again. Kieko deserved to feel proud of himself. <laughs> ah, Kieko, there you are. I have a surprise for you. What is it? What is it? A well earned surprise. Without your courage, we would never have found the night. And since you acted like a man, I'm giving you my <gasps> arm badge. Wow, your warrior badge. Thanks, Papa. Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is a rattlesnake. <laughs> it's time to end this story. And that is how the first poisonous rattlesnakes appeared. They are with us because of a very dark night and a weak king and his greedy subjects. Ever since then, we've known that rattlesnakes abused the power of the poison. Now, we must watch out for them very carefully because their poison can be dangerous. 
Of course, our ancestors are responsible for this danger, but the risk was necessary, for a world without night would also have been a world without joy.